Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example from geometry. Shown above is a circle with three tangents KQ, KP, and LM. QL is given as 2 cm, KL is 6 cm, and PM is a half of KL. What is the measure of angle LMK? So we have to find out the value of this angle that is LMK. Now let us begin by writing the values given here first. So QL is given as 2 cm. So let us write here 2. KL is 6 cm. And PM is half of KL. Since KL is given as 6 cm, PM is half of 6. So it becomes 3 cm. Now to find out the value of angle LMK, let us first understand a theorem related to tangents to the circles. Now the theorem is tangents to a circle from an external point. You can see that I have drawn a circle and there is a point which is external to the circle which is given as A and through this point I have drawn two tangents to the circle which is AB and AC. So the theorem states that tangents which meet at the same point are equal in length. So here we can see that the tangents AB and tangents AC meet at a common point A. That means if the length of AB is 6 cm, then the length of AC is also going to be 6 cm. Now let us see how we can use this theorem to solve the example above. Now in this diagram we have three external points to the circle. One is point L through which two tangents which is LQ and LN are drawn. The second external point is M through which the tangents MN and MP are drawn. And the third external point is point K through which the tangents KQ and KP are drawn. Now let us start with our first external point. So according to the theorem, the length of the tangents drawn from an external point need to be equal. So if LQ is 2 cm, LN is also going to be 2 cm. Similarly, the second external point. If MP is 3 cm, then the length of MN tangent is also going to be 3 cm which means the total length of LM is going to be 2 plus 3, which is 5. So let me write down 5 here, 5. So we have got the length of LM. Now let us try to find out the length of KM. Now here the length of KQ is going to be equal to the length of KP because we are considering the external point K. Now the length of KQ is 8 because it is 2 plus 6. So the length of KP also should be 8. Since MP is taken as 3, the length of KM is going to be 5 cm, which makes a total of 8. So now KP length is also 8 and KQ length is also 8. Now once we have got the values of the sides, let us consider the triangle KML. Now in this triangle KML, we can see that the side MK is equal to the side LM because both are 5 cm. Since the two sides are equal, we call it as an isosceles triangle. And if angle K is 50 degrees, then we have angle L also as 50 degrees now, because of the isosceles triangle. Now using the angle sum property of the triangle, it becomes very easy to find the missing angle M. So let us write here, angle L plus angle K plus angle M is going to be 180 degree. So we have the value of angle L with us which is 50 plus angle K is 50 plus angle M we need to find out equal to 180 degree. So now we have angle M equal to 180 degrees minus 50 plus 50 gives us 100. So taking it on the other side, we get negative 100. And 180 minus 100 gives us 80 degrees. So the value of the angle LMK is 80 degrees. So we write here 
this is 80 degrees. So to find this angle, we had to make use of a single theorem, which was the length of the tangents drawn from an external point to the circle is always equal. And I hope that you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.